Hey everybody, I am Carolyn Byers. I'm the Education Director at Madison Audubon and today I'm here to make some bug buzzers with you. That's awesome. So let's see, this is part of our virtual summer camp. We are in week two. First we did sight, now we're doing hearing. Um, and we're just exploring nature using our sense of hearing and thinking about how animals hear or make noises. Pretty awesome. Um, and let's see, we have two more weeks of summer camp. Next week we are doing smell. <laughs> it's hard to keep them all straight. And the week after that is animal superheroes. So animals that have senses that are just really different from ours that we can't even really understand. That's super neat. So if anybody is watching this live, you can type me a message in the chat or you can, well, that's pretty much it. You can you <laughs> type me a message in the chat and I will, um, I'll respond to it. I'll answer your questions, share your nature stories with me. I'm really excited to hear them. Um, ooh, while we get started, you know, I have a nature story to share. We have a garden in our front yard and in that garden, we have lots of tomatoes and there's one tomato, so we have a row of them. They all have tomato cages on them, you know, to help support them as they grow. And there was one tomato um, that got eaten. It got the, the, the whole plant was just nipped right from the bottom and moved away. And I said, okay, I'll plant another one. So I planted another one and that one got eaten. Ugh. And then later I saw a bunny we didn't know it then, but she's a mama bunny. And a bunny was picking up hay from another part of our garden, carrying it in her mouth, and moving over to that tomato cage, right where that one tomato kept getting eaten. And we watched and we saw her build a little bit of a nest, right? They dig a little hole and that's where they, they put their babies. And um, we, we gave that area lots of space. We left them be and uh, then a few days ago we peaked <laughs> and you have to be really careful when you're looking at animal babies or animal nests um, partly because you don't want to stress out the babies or the adults and partly because you need to make really certain that you're not leaving a lot of scent around the area because predators could smell it we'll talk about that next week predators could smell it and they could find the babies easier so when we looked I was so careful, I peeled back just a little bit of hay and under that we saw some bunny fur. And it was all fur that the mama had pulled from her body. And um, it's like, you know how your animal, your pet animals shed their fur a little bit? It's just that, it doesn't hurt her. So there's fluffy fur lining the nest. So when I moved that away, I saw two tiny little rabbit noses peeking out. They were very little. And we watched for just a second and they sniffed the air and then they turned around and moved back to their nest because they knew it wasn't their mom. And then I put the fur back and then I put the hay back. And then my family and I made sure we touched the hay all around the garden so that our scent was spread out. And it's our front yard, so our scent is kind of all over it. So I think they're pretty safe. But then a few days ago, we saw the mama bunny standing over the nest and she was feeding her babies. It was amazing. I've never seen that before. It's really special. So if anybody's watching this and you want to type a nature story in the comments, I would love to hear it. Um, okay, so that was a fun nature story, but we're here to talk about bugs and how they make noises, right? So we are gonna do a bug buzzer activity right now. It's kind of an art project. We're gonna build our own bug buzzers. And this was a lesson I found on, or Milka found it actually, on the National Science Teaching Association's webpage. So I think we'll maybe put a link in the comments later. It's a really cool webpage filled with lots of awesome activities. Thanks for letting us use this, guys. Um, so okay, we all go outside, right? And we all hear noises when we go outside. And I want everybody to think for a minute about what kind of bugs you hear when you're outside. And most bugs, at least to our ears, are pretty quiet, right? Butterflies don't make a lot of noise, ants don't make so much noise, I've never heard a caterpillar make a noise, although I think some do. Um, but then there are some bugs that are really, really loud. And I'm thinking of bugs like crickets and cicadas and katydids and grasshoppers. And I have my field guide for kids here. 
And inside, we don't have all of those bugs, but we do have grasshoppers in here. So if you wanna read a little bit about grasshoppers and I don't know, just about their lives, um, you can take a look in here at this book. Um, and all of those animals are really, really noisy. <laughs> so we're gonna make a bug buzzer right now. And what you're gonna need are, um, you're gonna need a string and it should be ooh, about this long. Let's see, foot and a half maybe. Okay, it's not super important how long it is. You need a little stick. I'm gonna use this pencil. It's actually an International Crane Foundation pencil. Uh, this is a little long, so I hope it's gonna work, but you could use a popsicle stick. You could use a very thin stick you find outside. You could use a shorter pencil. That would work really well. You need a piece of paper or a index card or a piece of tag board or anything you want as long as it's not too thick. And again, I hope this is gonna work because it's very thin paper. And you want your paper to be about as long as your stick with a little bit of room at the ends, okay? See how I have some room at the ends here? And that's because you need two of these little pencil eraser tops, one on each end, okay? So that's how big your paper needs to be. Then you're also gonna need a rubber band. Mine's about that big, okay? And tape and scissors. So I already have, oh, I should pause for a second. If you're watching this and it's not live, you can hit pause right now and go gather all your supplies so that you can build it with me, okay? And if you're watching it live, you can come back to it <laughs> once you have all your supplies. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is cut your piece of paper so that it's about as long as your stick, but just a little bit shorter on each side, okay? And I already did that. Now we need to cut it so that it's the shape of our bug's wing. And you can be super creative with this. And maybe you wanna make a few different bug buzzers with different wing shapes. And maybe you wanna experiment with that. So I'm gonna make mine look like this because this is what the picture had on that website. So it has two points, okay? Okay, so we have, we have this right now. And next we're gonna tape it right here and right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna tape this right here. And I'm gonna wrap it around the back. Can I do this? You can do the next part, okay? And then I'm gonna tape it over here too. And I got some dog hair stuck in the tape. So I'm taping it on the front and the back, but I'm only taping the ends here. I'm not taping this part, okay? Don't put those in your mouth, thank you. Okay, next we need to put our string on it. So I'm gonna put my string up on this end and I'm gonna put the string like this, okay? And I'm gonna have this end coming off this way and I'm gonna put the tape right around here. Okay, so now I have a my bug. wing. Yeah, we're making a bug buzzer. My wing, my stick, which is a pencil, and my string is taped on. You wanna make sure the string's taped on pretty good because we're gonna end up swinging this around, okay? Jay, do you wanna do the next part? Can you please stick these on either end of it? So put one right here. Stick it on really good. Nice. Okay, and now we turn this around. And this, so the string is coming off this way. We're gonna bend it down like this. And now, Jay, can you please stick this one on here? Excellent, make sure it's on good and tight. All right, we're almost done. Now, we're gonna put this rubber band on. Okay, and I'm gonna put my rubber band here, I'm gonna pull the string through the rubber band and put it down here. Oops, you can't see that. Are you sure this hmm? is a bug? Does it not look like a bug? Well, <laughs> you don't have these little things. Oh, bugs don't have erasers? No. <laughs> well, we're not making an exact bug, 
but we are gonna make something that maybe sounds a little like the bug. Okay, uh-oh. Is this all you can do, make a wing? Make a wing? Yeah, is this art project not what you wanted? No, I want to make a whole body. A whole body? Well, maybe we can do that later. Okay, so now I wait, have, wait. this is okay. what it looks like from the bottom. I thought it was over here, and over there. I know, crazy, huh? So this is what it looks like from the bottom. We have our two erasers on, we have our rubber band, we have our string, and we have our wing. Okay, so now once you're here, once you're ready, you're ready to test it. And I'm gonna take my microphone off so that I can uh, move away from the camera a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to swing our bug buzzer. So you should maybe talk to a grown up before you do this and maybe go outside just in case your string isn't taped on so well. I don't want you to hit anything breakable with your bug buzzer, okay? And I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope I don't hit anything breakable inside. So here we go. Swing it around in a circle, either above your head or in front of you, and we'll see if it makes a noise. What do you think, Jay? Is it gonna make a noise? Totally. You think so? Well. Oof, you're yes. more confident than I am. Yes, see. Okay, step back here. Can I do it? Um, let me let me do it once just to make sure it doesn't fall off. Okay, can you come stand over here? Thank you. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Here, Jay, you want to try it? <laughs> Don't let go. Hold it tight. <laughs> All right, stop. Very cool. All right, so. That was neat. I've never done that before. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, we'll do it again as soon as we're done talking. I bought so, buyer. The first thing I want you to think about is did your bug buzzer make a noise, right? Did yours make a noise like ours did? So if it did, awesome. High five. Yeah. And if it didn't, there's a few things you can check, okay? So I want you to check your rubber band. Check to see if your string is touching your rubber band. My string is coming down through the bottom here, um, and so it's not touching the rubber band. Also, check to see if your rubber band is twisted. So my rubber band is not. So twist, twisted would look more like, like this. It turns over, okay, see that? So make sure your rubber band isn't twisted. And try those two things, and then your bug buzzer should make a noise. And so, once your bug buzzer is making noise, I would love for you to think about what you could change to maybe make a different noise. Maybe you could change the shape of your wing. Should we do that? Yep. Okay, let's change the shape of our wing. We're gonna make it look like this. You wanna try this one? Yep. Okay, Jay's gonna see if it makes a different noise now. Come on over here, be on camera. Okay, swing it big. Nice. Is it? Did it make a noise? It made a noise, but not such a different noise. Not a different noise. Okay, so maybe it's not the wing that's making a noise. Maybe it's another part. Think about the things we thought to check. Oh, Mama. Maybe it's this is making air and it's saying it out different ways. Ooh. But how can we change this? So, uh, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to have to do some experimenting. Okay, so try maybe a different rubber band. Try a longer string or a shorter string. Um, but let us know in the comments what you're trying and what you're seeing. I, I'm just gonna do it, keep doing you're it. You're gonna keep doing it? Okay, I'm gonna check the comments real quick and we'll see if anyone's watching. Wait. Ah, oh, Jay, Pops is watching. Do you wanna say hi, Pops? Hi, Pops. <laughs> hey, Pops. Wait, is it Papa's? Papa's Papa, it's Pops. So, Karina also says that was fun, awesome. Did your bug buzzers make noises? I hope so. That's pretty cool. Um, awesome, Jay's buzzing. <laughs> and Karina. Oh, it makes a different noise that time. You made a different noise? Yeah, it got in. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, but when you don't do it faster, Oh, so Jay's thinking maybe the speed that he's spinning it makes the noise change. Very cool. 
All right, so we're thinking about all different ways we can make different noises with our bug buzzers. a paper. Uh-huh. All right, so everybody, think about how this is similar to the ways bugs make noises, all right? Think about um, the other lessons we have this week and things you've learned about how bugs make noises and think about what's the same about this. How, how is it the same? And you can join us for all of our summer camp activities. They're all free. They're all open to anyone. You don't have to be a member. <laughs> And if you are able to and you think that our work is worth supporting and you want to drop us a donation, we would love it. And if not, you know what? This is always going to be free for you. Whoa. Oh my goodness. It's always going to be free for you. It's always going to be here because nature is for everybody. So get outside, enjoy, explore. And if you want to, you can um, sign up for our second session of and camp. You can, and you can even do this bug buzzer on the side. I hope your bug buzzers were as big a hit as it was over here. <laughs> oh, oh, gotta be careful. Okay, everybody, um, have fun with camp. Send us questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye. So what do you think makes sense?